Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this uh, Duclus light box. Uh, I'll get you to the unboxing, I'll show you what the package contains, uh, I'll show you how to use it and uh, at the end I'll share my own thoughts about the product. Uh, so guys, if you would like to see more reviews like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I would really appreciate it if you can tap the like button. So let's get into the video. This other box looks like it has a picture over here of the product, also more information here at the bottom. And at the back uh, we can see the content of the box and uh, as well information about the company. But the most important is to see what is inside the box, I'm just going to open it right now. And the first thing that we see is the, the uh, photo box uh, inside the nice carrying bag. And uh, here we can see some reflective uh, boards and I will show you one by one. You also get here a card, which is a gift uh, pack, and uh, also the boards, what you can do with them. Uh, we have here the black board. Here we have the, uh, it's silver on one side and on the other side is gold. And this one has an interesting color. As you guys can probably see on the other side is more or less the same. But here there is a sticker on each uh, board that you can remove and uh, you can get different uh, combinations. And now I'm going to open the product, uh, which comes in this uh, carrying bag. It also has handles here at the top. And this is what we see the first time. Yeah, it comes with uh, eight backdrops and I'll go one by one. This is the first one is like uh, yellow. And on the other side is more or less the same. And these ones are folded like this. This is the shape. Then we get black, there is white, green, another white, but this one is from paper. There is a black, another version of black, which is also from paper and it absorbs the reflections. There is red and uh, this one is uh, light blue. And this is the photo tent, it comes with this uh, diffuser here on top which has velcro, I'll show you how to mount it. And uh, this is the first overview of the box, uh, it has a nice branding over here. And uh, to mount it, it's super easy, just fold this part like this and then you have to pull this and open the top in order to be able to hold it and this part over here has to go till the very end to make it stable and the last part that we have to do is just put it like this and basically you're done it's assembled super easy and convenient this is the interior of the light box the size is 40 centimeters by 40 by 40 also in depth and uh, here at the top there is the hole uh, that you can open to take uh, pictures from the top and uh, here at the back it has uh, uh, this elastic uh, which helps uh, to keep the uh, backdrops uh, uh, properly and to install the diffuser is super easy as you can see here there is a velcro and just press to the very end press also to the very end make sure you stick it properly you have to do it just like this with this part you have to go over there And uh, basically that's it. Now I'm going to connect it and I will show you what is the power. Now in order to connect it, as you can see here, there is the cable and uh, if you pull it out, there is, uh, uh, you can get way more in terms of length. And this is the remote control. And with this one, you can adjust uh, the intensity plus minus and also there is a power button. And at the very end, it has a regular USB and you can plug it in a, a socket or in my case, I'm just going to use a power bank. Here on top uh, uh, is the source of light, uh, is an all-around circle, uh, obviously LED, a Cree 97, uh, which helps to get a better uh, quality of light uh, when you take pictures of products uh, or uh, also film. And in order to activate uh, the light, I'm just going to press the button power on the remote control and using the plus and minus uh, buttons on the remote control, you can adjust the intensity. This is the lowest and this is max. Obviously my camera is uh, set on manual mode, then this is why you see this uh, uh, difference. Now I'm going to install one of the backdrops, uh, in this case it's going to be blue. And uh, here at the very top uh, there is an elastic that you have to pull in order to secure it. And basically this is how it looks like. 
And for example, if you want to add the uh, uh, red, you can also add multiple backdrops at the same time, not to remove uh, them all the time. Yeah, and it looks like this. I'm just going to increase a bit the intensity. Yeah, this is max. I have here a bottle of cider, and as you can see, the light is even, and we don't have any reflections on the bottle, and obviously, this is uh, the maximum intensity, and we can dim it uh, based on the results that we want to achieve, and I'll show you how this one looks on a different uh, backdrop. This is how it looks on different backdrop, and uh, obviously, if we increase the intensity, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be different and also uh, if you have more light then you can uh, adjust the, the f-stop and uh, get uh, uh, all the bottles nice in focus this is a really good example because as you can see over here on the glass there is a reflection uh, of the window and in order to get rid of it uh, we can close the uh, photo tent just make sure you stick it properly and then we can open the front part and then we can take the picture. But for this one, we have to adjust a bit the angle. Basically, we have to put the camera a bit higher, just like this. So probably this, this would be the uh, shooting point. I have here another bottle which is significantly taller than the previous one because I want to show you what you can fit in this uh, light box. And also, it's quite difficult to work with uh, bottles because of the reflection that you get. And uh, yeah, this is our this is our uh, reflection that we get uh, with this uh, of light box uh, only here, which is uh, quite good. And also, this one is super easy to be edited. And also, if you push it a bit uh, back, uh, this is how it looks like. And also. If you want to completely remove it, you can bring it a bit in front, which is uh, kind of cool. And also you can change the backdrops, uh, obviously. Now this is another example. Uh, here we have a very large product and also it fits in this uh, uh, light box. And uh, obviously, as you can see here, there is no uh, reflection. I mean, there, there is a nice reflection like circle. And this is exactly the result we wanted to get. But if I remove the uh, diffuser, you can see now in the pictures uh, how it looks like. Now I remove the diffuser and you can see uh, here is the reflection of the LEDs uh, from the top, but obviously if you want to get rid of these ones, you, have, you need to add a diffuser. And just for our demonstration, uh, I don't think there is enough light because uh, it doesn't cover properly this uh, part over here, so uh, this is the max that you can get with it and this is the result that I got. Now I'd like to show you all three options that you have when you take uh, pictures uh, with this light tent. The first one is when the front is open, second one when the front is closed and uh, you can open this uh, part over here. And the third one is if you use uh, the hole at the top and uh, basically you can put the camera inside, just focus and uh, yeah, that's it. Now there's one more thing that I would like to show you which is kind of cool. See the light is traveling from the top but there is a trick. If you uh, remove the product, remove the backdrop and close the box and just flip it on one side like this. I will open it. I will add back the backdrop. And because it's square size the backdrop is going to fit without any problems. Just like this. A bit probably on top. All good done. And we're gonna put the uh, products back. And this one. And as you can see now, we get a different effect because the light is traveling from one side, which is uh, way more interesting in uh, some cases. 
After testing this light box, I came to the conclusion that it's super cool. Uh, also because of the size, uh, it's 45, 40 by 40 centimeters. You can fit quite uh, large items inside. Uh, comes with eight backdrops. Uh, uh, as well, the remote control is very responsive. It can dim the intensity. Uh, the light is Cree 97. Uh, uh, so uh, do I recommend you to buy it or to drop it? Well, definitely to buy it. Guys, if you uh, have any questions related to the product, you can leave them in the comment section below. There's also a link where you can check out more information about this product there also if you want to purchase it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.